Hello friends. After looking at my alleged fabric and notion stash, I realized that I don't have much of one. I only came back to sewing a little over a year ago and money's been a little tight, so I've only been buying things for specific projects or occasionally when there's an incredible sale. I have a pile of old clothes here to scrap out or repair, a few yards that were gifted by a coworker, some fat quarters, and a thrifted leather coat to do some leatherworking experiments with. And of course, I have some cabbage as well. I have many projects I want to film for you guys over the next year, and some things I want to make for summer and autumn craft markets, so I decided to pay the New York City Garment District a visit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take any footage of the shop simply because my current filming is very unsophisticated. Eventually, I'll invest in better equipment and take you along on adventures. But here are some still images of our day instead. M and J, of course. A bubble tea break. A visit to Soho. And a hot tea break later on in the day. Makuba wasn't originally on my list to visit, but they're going out of business and having some sales, so I stopped in. They were selling this black velvet ribbon, three rolls for $25. And you always need black ribbon. This rust-colored cotton ribbon was also just $10 a roll. And so is this beautiful shimmery green ribbon. It is a little hard to see the color on camera, unfortunately. This white cotton lace was also $10 a roll. The outer loop of the ribbon is a little soiled. It's tinged a bit brown compared to the rest of the roll. Still, I'm only losing about a foot of ribbon out of the 30 meters on the roll. And it will look so cute on petticoat hems. So that's my haul from Makuba specifically. I spent more there than at any other shop, I think. Their closing date is supposed to be the end of February, so go if you can and take advantage. Their ribbon is usually quite expensive. Next, I'll show you my things from M&J. And I practice great restraint there. I mean, they have a whole button shop, so... I limited myself to just a few things, like these filigree leaf pendants that I'm actually going to make into earrings for myself. My husband picked them out because he knows I love leaves. I also picked up a couple of these metal frog closures for using on cloaks and capes. I thought they were really unique more durable than fabric frog closures, and much larger and with a lot more presence than the small metal clasps I've gotten online before, so I got a couple pairs of these. I did visit Mood, as is required on a garment district trip, but I did find them a tiny bit overwhelming. They also didn't have exactly what I was looking for, especially at the price point I was looking for, so I went to Metro Textiles after hearing about their excellent deals. He had more blends and was also having a store moving sale, so I was able to get some really well-priced fabric. Although some of the fabric content is a little bit questionable, but I can always do a burn test later to double check. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any 100% wools anywhere that I really liked for less than $20 a yard, and I need about five yards, so... I really couldn't afford to spend $100 on some wool. I was able to afford a large enough quantity of both these fabrics, and they look quite different in person. This one is a knit blend. It has almost a hound's tooth gray and white pattern, and the underside is striped. It also has a nice drapiness and weight to it, so I look forward to using that on other projects. This is a blend of rayon, poly, and wool. It has a very pretty selvage edge and has more of like a brown tweed look to it. I'll definitely be making another trip down to the garment district later this year, and I really can't wait to share the projects I'm gonna be making with these new supplies. If you're excited to see them too, please subscribe and I'll be posting 
pretty regularly every week um, is my goal. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.